What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Uh, we're about four hours away from doing our uh, Sunday afternoon live stream. We started this out last year as a bitch session because literally we were mad that we lost in the playoffs to the 49ers and we were literally missing having football of course on sunday afternoons and we were able to vent our frustration um for the cowboys lack of moves and so this is what started out and of course it turned into hope as we got closer and closer to the season and then changed and evolved to saturdays because of course games on sundays but we've kept it up all um season and if you are a channel member you can be part of the stream and put your thoughts and stuff out there we uh are on the precipice of free agent frenzy starting tomorrow or actually should i say midnight tonight uh agents will be able to start talking to players at midnight about getting a deal done and then they can actually end up getting finalized of course um, on wednesday when the league year starts so look for a lot of action to be happening something that seems to be gaining steam right now is deandre hopkins to the dallas cowboys now we know that the cowboys realized they screwed the pooch with um getting rid of amari cooper last year now hopkins has been talked about quite a bit the cardinals um if we actually look at the contract right now for deandre hopkins here um where we see that the cap number for hopkins this year is 29.9 million dollars and the dead money would be 21 million dollars and they'd say almost 9 million um I think that the Cardinals, much like the Rams, are looking at this as a red shirt season. Um, knowing that Kyler Murray is not going to be ready to start the season, um, knowing that they have a new coach, that this is an opportunity to go ahead and get some draft capital, get rid of some of the bigger contracts, and try and start the clock all over. And that's the same thing that's going on with the Rams. Hopkins, who has been an incredible wide receiver for many, many years, unfortunately has been with the Texans and then, of course, with um, the Cardinals and has not had stable situations, should we say. Um, Kyler Murray is thought to be one of the great um, new young quarterbacks, or at least that was the thought when they signed him to the $230 million contract that they signed him to. Uh, but he has been leaving them kind of wanting the injuries. Uh, sometimes they say a little bit of the attitude, too much PlayStation and stuff. So Hopkins going to a team, um, a, a better team, a better, more stable quarterback situation would be incredible for him. Now, looking at the numbers for Hopkins, now because this is the thing is, are we better off making a trade for Hopkins or signing an Odell? Odell's looking for $20 million. I don't know that Odell's going to get $20 million or not. But you look at the years that Hopkins has had, you know, 17, I'm sorry, 717 yards, 517, 1,400, 1,165, 1,500, 1,300, um, 1,000 in 2016, 1,500 in the Texans. Uh, you know, you, you look at these numbers, they're incredible. Um, the Cardinals one, you look at the 717, understand that's only in nine games. He had a six-game suspension and was out for a couple of games. So in nine games where Kyler Murray was injured, a lot of them, um, he still had an 11.2-yard average. Um, averaging, and let me get a comparison here. Um, this is a comparison of Amari Cooper's season last year versus Andre um, DeAndre Hopkins. It's kind of interesting because now Amari was more of the deeper threat, and Amari had a couple of really big plays uh, down the field wide open that skewed the numbers. Uh, Amari Cooper averaged, again, with bad quarterback play, um, almost five receptions a game for 68 yards and a half a TD a game. Hopkins, surprisingly, had seven receptions with 
not great quarterback play, but 79 yards. The difference being is Hopkins' yards per catch were more in the 11-yard range, and Hop- and uh, Amari Cooper was more in the 14-yard range. Um, Hopkins is more of a possession receiver, and what the Cowboys could do with him is you could put him in the slot. You put him in the slot, much like Larry Fitzgerald, who was an older receiver, they put him in the slot, and he became incredible as a slot player. As uh, Brian, game time Brian will put it, his catch radius is great. You won't see the Clifford Franklin tip-up passes um, like we had. I'm sorry, did I say Clifford Franklin? Freudian slip. The Noah Brown tip-up catches um, that we saw so much, you will see Hopkins making plays. Now, the question is, here's the question. Hopkins is already signed with a new agent. He's ready to do a new deal. Don't know what kind of money he's looking for. Probably in the same um, range as what Odell's looking for. I'm sure $20 million a year. But at this point in his career, he may be looking for a better opportunity more than just the money. So, I am looking at uh, a tweet from KJ Drummond. This was an interesting one. 38 minutes ago, he tweeted, Dorrance Armstrong in a third-round pick for Hopkins. Who says no? Um, I'm not sure I want to give up Dorrance Armstrong. Dorrance Armstrong actually had a really good season last year. When you look at, because if you're talking about Dorrance Armstrong, I might be saying Dorrance Armstrong and maybe a fourth or a fifth. I'm not sure that that Dorrance Armstrong, keep in mind this, Randy Gregory never had more than six sacks in a season. Dorrance Armstrong had eight and a half. A guy who's only getting paid seven and a half million dollars a year. Yeah, he was really an effective cog. He, he Not towards the end of the season, but he had a really good season. And you have to actually look back and say, you know what? That was a better move than signing Randy Gregory. Um, but be that as it may, um, one of the Cardinals writers was saying a second round and a second tier type player. What would you give up to bring in DeAndre Hopkins? That is the question. We talk about if if we got seven catches and 79 yards a game from the slot, that's huge. His To put it in perspective, his 700 and some odd yards last year would have been second on the team for the season, and he only played in nine games. That's almost double the production we got from Michael Gallup. Now, I say what you will about my quarterback, Dak Prescott. You know that he's a garbage-ass quarterback. I can tell you this much about Dak Prescott. Almost to a man, every receiver that's played with Dak Prescott ends up having, except for James Washington. James Washington only had, you know, one incompletion. Players that play with Dak Prescott, their yard average per completion has gone up. That's Des Bryant had his best. Um, You can look at Randall Cobb, who was left on the roadside, came through, had his career highs with Dak Prescott. Wasn't the same with um, when he went to the Texans or back with Green Bay. And you look at that and say, if you give Dak Prescott great weapons – Yeah, that's going to help. You give weapons that catch the ball instead of tipping it up. That's a couple interceptions right there that we drop. If you have receivers that can get open and create separation, then you don't have to force the ball in. So, back to the original question. Would you rather give up a second-round pick? And I'm going to caveat this with the Cowboys. For whatever reason, Cowboys second-round picks have not been great to them. First-round picks have been really good. Fourth-round picks have been really good. Second-round picks, not so much. Would you give up a second-round pick and a lesser player 
for DeAndre Hopkins, or would you give up a third round pick and Dorrance Armstrong? Hmm. Or do you just sign Odell Beckham Jr. and get in the bidding war? I wish I had the answer, but we'll see. I I, I can't believe I, I'm my mind. You know, I'm I'm getting 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 old and dementia here. I guess you could say. Um, for some reason, in my mind, I was thinking the 13th was Tuesday. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. So now I got to back up my whole calendar and everything and uh, get myself together because we got a lot of work to do. All right, good people. Um, we've got a couple of things that we're going to be uh, working on, too. Uh, we're going to dissect more what Marriott has claimed with uh, Michael Irvin's case. And um, we'll be following the rumors. I've already got NFL Network on with their free agent frenzy cover free agent frenzy coverage i got me a pot of navy beans cooking on up here and uh yeah it's going we're going to be loaded for bear i'm mark holmes and well i'll see you soon